What's up, SQL YouTubers? Today we're going to be talking about how to automatically purge the data out of a temporal table's history table. Temporal tables are awesome. I've made a couple videos about how easy it is to use them to do point in time analysis on your data and other business problems that they could solve. We've even talked about how keeping track of all that row level change history makes it really easy to roll back data in a database if you have to. At some point, that historical table is going to have a lot of data in it, and you'll probably want to purge some of the older records that you don't need. In SQL Server 2017, Microsoft's adding a history retention period property onto a temporal table, which will automatically purge data older than, you know, X amount of time. Uh, so you could say purge anything older than six months, and SQL Server will automatically clean up that history table for you. However, 2017 is still in technical preview, and even when it does get officially released later this year, it'll probably take a while for most of us to upgrade to that. So today we're going to take a look at how we can automate the purging of old data out of a temporal table's history table in SQL Server 2016. Now, to delete that data in 2016, what we're going to end up doing is writing a script that we will then schedule in SQL Agent. Um, or anywhere else that we want to run periodically to clean that data up. That's the only way to do it. And the script that we're going to go over today is pretty straightforward, but there's a couple things you want to really be careful of when you're deleting this history. I've included a link to my blog post down below so you can copy all the scripts uh, more easily than having to transcribe it from this YouTube video. So the first thing you want to be aware of when deleting this data is you can't just delete data out of a history table, right? A table that has system versioning on or is a temporal table. SQL Server will throw an error at you saying you can't modify that data because system versioning is turned on. So the way around that is pretty easy. You just write an alter table statement and turn system versioning off. But when you turn system versioning off, you basically lose the temporal nature of that table, right? It's no longer going to track any of your data changes, any inserts, updates, or deletes that happen. Um, so you lose that historical logging. So the worry there is even if you schedule this script to run at a time, you know, that's like maybe a maintenance window or not, not a lot's going on in the database, if you're turning system versioning off, you might potentially miss some data if your delete script is running at the same time that something tries to insert into our temporal table. So the way this works is we're going to wrap our delete code in a transaction. We're going to begin a transaction, then we're going to turn system versioning off our temporal table. We are then going to write our delete logic, right, to delete something, let's say, more than a month old. And then we'll finally turn system versioning back on and commit our transaction. If we do that, then any other process that tries to insert, update, or delete is going to just have to wait until our transaction finishes. Um, so preventing any kind of data integrity issues of data being written to the temporal table but it not getting tracked in the history table. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty much straightforward as that. The things to keep in mind, right, is if you're deleting a lot of data, um, instead of doing it all in a single transaction, you might want to batch it in you know, groups of 10,000 or 20,000, 100,000, right? It'll depend on what your data is like, so test out different scenarios. But at least that way, if you're batching and committing transactions, um, turning the system versioning off and then back on again within each transaction, if you do have other processes that are going to be trying to write data to the temporal table, everything's not going to get locked up for these long periods of time. You'll be able to maintain integrity and not cause performance stress on the server. So once you got those scripts written, all you need to do is schedule them somehow, um, and you know, you're on your way to automatically purging that data out of a temporal table's history table. I hope you enjoyed this video and it'll help you create an automatic way to purge data out of your temporal table's history table. Um, be sure to check the links below for the full blog post with all the code and everything else you would want to try it for yourself. And please like, comment, and subscribe below. I look forward to seeing you again next week.